Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to do an experiment to see which plastics burn and which plastics melt. So in general, plastic, or the technical term for them is polymer, are in, categorized into two classes. Either they are thermoplasts or they are thermal, thermoset. Thermosets are thermally set. That means that before curing, they are in a liquid form, and then after the curing, they go through a chemical process which can be heat, pressure, cross-linking, and they solidify, and then they would be thermally set. So the process is irreversible. That's why it's a chemical process, not a physical process. And if you apply heat, they're gonna burn, they're not gonna melt. On the other hand, the thermoplastics, if you apply heat, they're gonna melt. If you cool them down, they solidify, then you could heat them up, they melt and reshape and reform them and are reversible and recyclable. The process is a physical process. Most plastic that you see around the house are gonna be thermoplasts, so I have a bunch of stuff. I have a bottle here, I have a Gatorade, I have a medicine bottle, a PVC, of course, is a thermoplast. And for electrical outlets and plugs, you would, they are thermosets because they have a higher temperature resistance. So this guy should burn, it should not melt, and these guys, you know, should be able to uh, melt them. And this one is a silicone, silicone is a elastomer or a rubber, elastomer could be thermoset and thermoplast, but the one, but the silicone is a, is a thermoset. Okay, let's get started to see if it actually works. So I'm gonna start melting this. And thermoplast could be flammable as well. So it melts. solidify, I can even reshape them, join them these together, so they are pretty standard, and this is a too much heat, so they melt, they cool down in air and they solidify, and I think this one is a PVC, that's a perfect thermoplast. It's very flammable, and it has a story. That's, that way it doesn't melt as, as good as it's the other one. Let's try the bottle. There is a plastic, there is a paper around it, so probably this one is going to burn a little bit. But the plastic itself, you know, it melts. It should not burn. The plastic itself is, it should not burn. It cools down. Let's just start with some thermosets. This one should be a thermoset, should be a melamine formal day. We get try. This is not a recyclable process, so if you cool it down, you can't really satisfy it. Burn, they're not. And it's starting to be silicone. Same thing. This is not gonna melt. This is gonna burn. That's the perfect example of a thermoset. It's thermally set, it's not recyclable. It's not recyclable. Then these bottles are uh, PP, polypropylene, we have PE, polyethylene, we got a can melt and, and cool down. And these are carbon fiber epoxy, epoxy is another thermoset. So let's see. Yeah, it's very flammable. but they're not gonna melt. And thermo sets, they're using electrical applications because they can undergo higher temperature, they don't melt as easy, and they have less thermal 
uh, deformation because in electrical application in case of high voltage, high current temperature can go high, but the thermoplast has the advantage that it could actually be recycled.